subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi! Welcome to Test Prep Training. Today, we will discuss about, Microsoft Power Platform Developer. This exam is designed, to measure the ability, to accomplish the technical tasks, knowledge required. 1. Candidates appearing for the PL400 exam, should have development experience, that includes Power Platform Services, JavaScript, JSON, TypeScript, CHash, HTML, .NET, Microsoft Azure, Microsoft 365, RESTful Web Services, ASP.NET, and Microsoft Power BI. 2. Candidates must have strong applied knowledge, of Power Platform Services, including an in-depth understanding of capabilities, boundaries, and constraints. 3. Candidates should have a basic understanding, of DevOps practices for Power Platform. Exam Details 1. Exam name is PL400, Microsoft Power Platform Developer. 2. Exam duration is 120 minutes. 3. Exam format is multiple choice. 4. Validity is 3 years. 5. Exam fee is 165 US dollars. 6. Exam language is English only. 7. Pass score is 700 out of 1000. Exam registration. For registering yourself, for the exam PL400, Microsoft Power Platform Developer, follow the following steps. 1. Go to the official website, and click on the Schedule Now option. 2. You will be redirected, to the CertiPort registration page. 3. Follow the steps, and complete your registration. 4. You will be receiving a confirmation mail, once you have made your payment. Exam Policies The candidate is recommended, to read these policies, so as to avoid any kind of confusion, in the future. These policies contain information, about registration options, learning credits, etc. Exam Retake Policy If the candidate failed to achieve, the passing score, then he, or she has to wait for 24 hours, before reapplying to the examination. The candidate can go to their certificate dashboard, and reschedule the exam themselves. The candidate can reappear, for the examination only 5 times. Failure in the second attempt, will result in a waiting time of 14 days, before rescheduling your third attempt. The waiting period for the fourth, and the fifth attempts, will also be 14 days. Now, let's discuss about course outline. Domain 1, create a technical design, which comprises of 10 to 15% weightage in exam. It includes 1. Validate requirements, and design technical architecture. 2. Design solution components. 3. Describe Power Platform extensibility points. Domain 2. Configure Microsoft Dataverse, which comprises of 15 to 20% weightage in exam. It includes 1. Configure security to support development. 2. Implement tables and columns. 3. Implement application lifecycle management. Domain 3. Create and configure Power Apps, which comprises of 15 to 20% weightage in exam. It includes 1. Create model-driven apps. 2. Create Canvas apps. 3. Manage and troubleshoot apps. Domain 4. Configure business process automation, which comprises of 5 to 10% weightage in exam. It includes 1. Configure Power Automate. 2. Implement processes. Domain 5. Extend the user experience, which comprises of 10 to 15% weightage in exam. It includes 1. Apply business logic using client scripting. 2. Create a Power Apps component, framework component. 3. Create a command button function. Domain 6. Extend the platform, which comprises a 15 to 20% weightage in exam. It includes 1. Create a plugin. 2. Create custom connectors. 3. Use platform APIs. 4. Process workloads. Domain 7. Develop integrations, which comprises a 5 to 10% weightage in exam. It includes 1. Publish and consume events. 2. Implement data synchronization. Now, let's discuss about preparatory guide. 1. Refer the PL400 exam guide. It is important to know the topics beforehand. Significantly, this is the most important step in the preparation guide. Furthermore, exam objectives are very important when it comes to preparing the exam strategy. 2. Microsoft Books Microsoft provides reference books that can be helpful while studying for the exam. 
Furthermore, these books contain various useful resources, that can be used while studying. 3. Join Microsoft Community. A healthy discussion is always beneficial, no matter where it is done. The prospects of getting resolutions, to an issue increase steeply, when a greater number of people, are involved. 4. Evaluate yourself with practice test. It is very important to practice, what you have learned, so that you are in a position to analyze your practice. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.